Hey, it's Brian with Team Aquascape and welcome to Throwback Thursday. I am going to take you guys on a blast from the past. These were a couple projects we built, gosh, I want to say almost 10 years ago. And I keep promising you guys or telling you guys that I would love to take you back and show you some of these projects after they've been built and uh, what they look like mature with the landscape and everything else. So check these two out. Tell me which one's your favorite. I would love to know. I can't tell you which one's my favorite because every pond's my favorite. Hmm? Check these out. You're going to love them. Brian and Ed with Aquascapes. We're here in Countryside, Illinois. We thought we'd stop by and check out a cool project we built about, a, what? It's been two years now. Two years? It's totally, totally Can changed. you believe how thick all the plants are in oh, two years? It's unbelievable. Yeah. They've done a spectacular job here. I can't wait to go see the rest of it. Exactly. I think one of the neatest things about Gary is what he's uh, done with the property and how many ponds he's gone through. Oh, he's gone through, I think this is a seventh feature here on the property. So it started about 10, 12 years yeah, ago. at least 10 uh, years ago. You know, for the first ones and then like everybody else, make some bigger ads on do renovations and then all of a sudden it turns to a huge blown out project this is just the entry to the garden so a nice little simple uh, fountain rock display from here it could kind of stand on its own but then you see the gate in the back and that's going to open it up into a whole nother world stairs are a lot like bridges and we've said this before you see the stairs from the entrance to the backyard over there you're compelled to go up here once you get here you get to the bridge look what you discover when you get to the bridge it looks like a little trickle from up here yep and then more water gets added in and you know as you go yeah. further down you get more and more volume of water which is a really cool effect part of the placement of the trees and stuff was just so you don't see the point of origin yep. you know you, I love this it. feels like it starts from the next property over or further sure. down the street or something nice little aquatic plant things and like you were talking about where you only see certain views you can kind of see that this goes somewhere but you, you can't actually you can't follow it well, so it forces you to look yeah. over here to the left and then keep going down the path I love it the view of the bog filter up here yeah so different than the view of the bog filter from over there completely different I remember when he said he was gonna do a grass pathway uh -huh. I was not the biggest fan I thought it should be crushed stone okay. or just mulch or something yeah and uh, this really works yeah I like it, it really draws your eye to stay on the path. Well, and I think it softens it up too. So I think it's a neat, you know, instead of having that crushed rock with all the other rock here, it does create a, a, a softer element to it. Look at the view of the pool there compared to what it was on the know, bridge there. Yeah. That's one of my favorite little areas. That is awesome. Some pretty sturdy bridges, aren't they? Yeah, they're huge. Well, it's meant for his golf cart to go over it. I mean, he's got a huge property, so yeah. he takes his golf cart all over the place, and you think we need to create it. something big enough for the golf cart to drive on. So is it all? It's all four by fours. It's all four by fours. So here's the main pond down below. So we went with a pretty big pond, yeah. and we wanted you to interact with it in a couple areas. And the idea of the fish coming here, but when you look across the pond, you see the patio. So you're constantly, how do I get over there? How do mm -hmm. I get over there? And mm -hmm. you know, the whole system empties into, a 5, uh, I think, a 5,000 gallon reservoir. Not to be used to irrigate anything else, but just yeah. to make the feature self-sustaining. Right. Yeah, exactly. What an incredible view, oh, right? We're up awesome. there looking at that bridge, looking right. down this way. I mean, it's every bridge, it's another world. So here's the seventh and final project we did for him. Yeah, and and I'm awesome. guessing, knowing Gary, yeah. maybe final is not the actual yeah. best word for it, but it's the seventh project we seventh did for project. him. It is spectacular. I love it. Totally different shape, yep. pretty unique. Well, I mean, this is a custom water feature, so to yeah. do something like that for him totally makes sense. I yeah. mean, it fits with his property, his personality, and everything that he's trying to achieve out here. Well, it's Friday afternoon, a yeah. cold, cold beer, actually. Yeah, would, I was just gonna uh, say, I know what's right missing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda need to sit back here and look at what we've finished, and uh, I can understand where Gary's constantly wanting to add on more and more projects. I can already picture where we're gonna do Project 7, Project 8, <laughs> Project 9. Looking and, forward to it. And knowing Gary It'll probably happen sooner than later. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's the fun part of the, about the job. You know, all those new possibilities and the more stuff we show him, more ideas that he's going to start turning out. Yeah. But well, I hope you enjoyed today's project showcase. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Brian Helfrich at Aquascapes. We did a really, really cool project this spring and I thought it'd be neat for you guys to check it out. When you walk into this backyard, one of the very first things you're gonna notice is this very large sunken window well. This is what really inspired everything going on in Mr. Pearson's backyard. He put this big addition on his house and with the addition, he wanted oversized windows looking into his office. Now when he looks out, he looks like he's more in a cave or 
big sunken grotto type look. This feature here inspired what we did on the front of his office windows on the other side. Look at this. Not just big boulders, but a big giant waterfall coming down towards his office window. We've got a 9PL pump that feeds one side, a 9PL pump that feeds the other side, and these big waterfalls facing right to his office desk over here. I told my wife, it's not if we're doing this, it's when we're doing this. What I like the best is everybody told us it wasn't possible. The rule in construction is get water away from the house. Being water people, we say, hey, how close can we get it? My favorite area of the entire yard, our tree pergola. This whole space, his backyard and everything, really inspired truly from our flower and garden show. We built this unique tree pergola, and underneath this space, put a little outdoor kitchen, palmless waterfall, and then of course, all kinds of natural stonework and landscaping. I love this palmless waterfall for one reason, the sheer simplicity of it. The whole thing is built out of four or five rocks, all going down into about a 300 gallon reservoir, making the thing completely self-sustaining. Another neat, unique part of this backyard is this countertop right here. Another element that we used at the Flower and Garden Show. Mr. Pearson saw it and said, I must have it. Incorporating the backyard was the harder part of it. And I think what we did was pretty unique. We're not only making it a countertop, but it's retaining the soil for our waterfall back behind it. You can see the bubbling area here, and it just disappears and goes down into a, a 500 gallon reservoir down below. Another neat element, the giant stone bridge. We have about a nine foot long, three foot wide, solid stone bridge. Comes across here and leads you into the pond where then you're greeted by another large bluestone patio and of course the signature koi pond. So I'm walking into really the, the entertainment space, the larger bluestone patio. One thing Mr. Pearson really wanted back here was to create a lot of mystery. So we've got the tree pergola patio area over there. We've got this patio over here and later you'll see these other bridges that encourage you to kind of move around throughout the rest of the yard. The other thing he wanted was sound, sound, sound. So we've got our big signature waterfall sitting behind me with two 12 PN pumps feeding it. I love this pond for one reason. You can't see the whole thing from one area. You see waterfalls in the back and you see a bridge which compels you to go back there. What I like from this area is you discover another waterfall that you would have never seen if you stood over there on the patio. Little 2,000 gallon per hour waterfall kind of bubbling out between the joints of the rocks. And then you've got this 5,000 gallon per hour waterfall sitting to our side. One thing we really tried to do with this backyard is make it a continuous loop, more of a garden pathway. So when you come across these stepping stones, you discover something else. Limestone pathway that takes us through more of a garden walk and then back to my favorite area, the tree pergola area. This has been another Aquascape Project Showcase. We'll see you next time. Well, hope you enjoyed those. It was kind of cool to go back and see some of the old work we've done, where we were at then, where we are now. We're constantly trying to get better and better at our craft. Every day we push to make ourselves just a little bit better. Always learning, always um, thinking, always getting inspired by things you guys say, things we see other contractors do, and uh, we can't wait to build another one. I'm guessing you guys also thought that it's amazing how I haven't aged a bit. <laughs>